Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to another video on Salesforce Bolt. So guys, in uh, today's video, we'll be creating a list builder in Lightning Web Component. Okay, so we'll be basically mixing a few components which I have created earlier, like the model pop-up one, and we might use that uh, wiring account functionality also because in list builder, definitely I have to display a list. So I will be using my existing component for that. And guys, let me show you the output of that list builder. So guys, this is the list builder in which uh, we are going to implement it today into a lightning web component. So using this list builder, you may create a kind of a shopping cart kind of functionality while, you know, clicking on the cart icon will display the items and then you may select items or you may use it on products, price books. There could be multiple ways to use it. Okay. Uh, so for today's example, I will be using this list builder in my lightning web component and i will be just displaying the list of account i mean you you can update it as per your requirement but just for the demo purpose i will be displaying the list of account here all right so guys for this list builder i will be using this custom model pop-up in lwc so i will be using my this code block i will mention the specific articles in the description of this video so i will be using this code block to display the model pop-up because the list builder functionality is in a model pop-up kind of a thing so we'll be creating a custom model and uh, let's say if you're using it in a quick action then you don't need to follow the same functionality because quick action is already a pop-up and apart from that i will be using this wire apex with property and function code in which i have implemented uh, functionality to display list of accounts so basically we'll be getting the same list of account using this code and we will be displaying the list of account on this list builder itself okay so guys i have already created that component uh, just to save the time so i'll be just explaining the code here okay let me open my vs code here it is so guys this is the html part of it so as i mentioned earlier like it will be a model pop-up so definitely it is going to show and hide on click of that button so to uh, show our hide model pop-up, I have used a template here just to display. The default value of this template is true right now because this is just for testing purpose and right now I'm not having any button on my this lightning page. So that's why, you know, I have, I'm just directly displaying the model pop-up by uh, having the default value true here. Okay. And after that, guys, you may notice the header section here it is the same from that quote on my blog which was for the custom model pop-up so we are using the same code here to display a custom model pop-up here and apart from that if i will scroll down this is the heading of it which is select account and this is the subheading select data from the list you may customize it as per requirement this is the close button which will be a cross sign on the top right corner so this is the close button and this was the header part of it after that in body i'm using a spinner just to display some kind of reloading screen but i'm not using it in this example and apart from that i'm using a custom table here with some custom classes from that uh, list builder example and in my custom table i'm having a account name as a header and i will i'm having phone number here so basically there will be two columns account name and phone number all right let me scroll down a little bit more yep so guys this is the body part and in this body part you may notice like i'm using the uh, usual for each loop here to display the data you may use the same functionality to display data anywhere you would like to display so this is just basic uh, of, you know, just to display data, you may customize it as per requirement. So here I'm using account, accounts, uh, which is retrieved by the JavaScript controller. And as a key, I'm using account key to display the functionality of a list builder. To display the functionality like this. So to uh, display the icons I'm using checkbox in that list builder let me show it to you so here it is so here you may see a checkbox button and I'm using the account ID here just to you know so whenever the value will be checked in that list builder so I'll be getting the account ID in the back end so that so that I, I could identify 
like this is specific record was selected on from that list builder underneath that i'm having account name and phone number and underneath that i'm having the same photo which i'm having in my model pop-up code and in this folder i'm having the error message close model button and the next button which would be good to have i mean if you would like to extend the screen or you may want to display the screen in part so it could be your first screen and on the next of the button you may display the selected records maybe okay let's move to the javascript so here in javascript i'm just using some basic functionality here i'm just using a key to uh, show and hide the model so basically this could be a separate component and you will be clicking on that button which could be in a different component so that's why this uh, show function is an api so you can call this function from that component as well and underneath that i'm having this wired account functionality just to wire the account okay so i'm wiring the account in accounts and i'm getting this accounts into the html page to display list of data okay and after that guys you may notice the handle click event so this is the handle click event of that list builder so whenever you will click on an item it will just display the current target name which will be the account id itself and apart from that i'm having a function to close model so this was the basic functionality for this list builder guys now let me show you the output of it okay so this is my org this is the list builder guys so you may notice the account name the phone number select account select data from account these are my footer header the close button is here and this was the example which we were trying so here whenever i will select account it will return the id of that account using that handle on chain function let me show you the output in inspect element so if you go to console let me clear it and let's say if i will select this account so i'm getting the account id here so you know based on this selected records if you would like to perform any action on the next button so you may just pass this selected data to the next button or you can also create a list of you know list of id set of ids maybe just to that needs to be passed to the next page okay and on the click of this cancel or maybe this uh, close icon you may close this list builder all right so guys that was the functionality that was the way uh, i mean how you can implement that list builder functionality actually uh, there are very few i would say there are I, I didn't find any working example of it online so that's why i thought it would be good to have a working example of this list builder so that's why i created this video all right and guys as usual i'll be having having the complete code on my blog also which is salesforcebold.com so if you need the complete code you may directly go to my blog and check the latest post of it and feel free to modify the code and if you like today's videos guys subscribe to the channel will be awesome i'll see you in the next one thanks for watching